Hi folks, uh, thanks for tuning in. This is none other than Karan Dagar, your friend and hopefully someone you can talk to and someone you know who can share the experience. So before I actually start about like, you know, whether you should choose an Apple iPad or uh, Amazon Kindle Scribe, I think I should also talk about like, why did I start my channel? So I started my channel because, you know, um, I am an immigrant in United States and uh, I came from New Delhi, India. And, you know, we live in a, in a very digital world now. And I feel like it's it's time that I actually start sharing my life, my experiences, how I tackle challenges, how I think about money, how I, how I think about financial wealth, how I think about crypto, buying land, stuff, like this thing, how to be a better husband and, and stuff. Like there's so much to do. So I was like, why not? Why not just have, uh, you know, share everything that I can with people online and see like, you know, how, how they perceive it. So uh, thanks for watching. And definitely this is one of the most bravest thing or either the stupidest thing that I've ever done, but it took a lot of courage. That's all I'll say. Okay. Gan both part. Yeah. Now coming back to the point. Uh, so yeah, of course. The question is, should you buy an iPad? Wait. Let me open the cover. This is a very expensive and a very useful Apple iPad Air with an M1 chip, or an Amazon Kindle Scribe. Let's see how it looks. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool. And the best thing is, it also comes with a pen. Not to mention, like, of course, with Apple iPad, you can buy a pen, which I bought separately. I, I bought a pen from Amazon. Um, it costed me like 30 bucks and it's almost as good as an Apple pencil, at least from what I could tell after reading like tons and tons of reviews online. So I will put a link to this pencil in the description. So if you want to buy this pencil, of course, you can buy it. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good pencil, pretty useful. You don't have to spend like so much money just buying everything Apple, but I know Apple, you know, it's a, it's a brand, it's a cult. I think I'm part of it now. So the big question that we're going to ask us ourselves today is you got to, which, which product should you buy? Right? <laughs> okay. So, um, let me, uh, come to the point. Like, why did I even like, why did I create this? So, um, the way I think about these different products in technology, right, is that they kind of make my life easy. They they make they increase my productivity. I can do a lot more in a very less amount of time, and they're kind of cool. And you know, I think like we live in a really you know global digital world in 2023. So why not just use all these different technologies to consume a lot of this information and improve our, improve ourselves? So the product that I bought first was Amazon Kindle Scribe. Um, Honestly, it's a little expensive, but it's highly useful. I'm not a book reader. I've I've never I've I've played PlayStation. I mean I, I mean I'm a, I I've played games. I have you know hung out with friends. I've done a lot of things, but I've never really read books. And I've watched like a lot of movies. I mean all the IMDb top to fifty movies, but never ever read a book. But this time you know this year I was like it's a new year. It's a new me. I mean I got married last year and all, but I was like, okay, this is a new year, this is new me, and Karan is gonna improve himself, he's gonna be a better human. So, all in all, I read more than 30 books this year. And of all the books that I read, um, I think I was able to read them because of Kindle Scribe. It actually makes consuming books that are available online extremely easy. You can like download it, like, so, um, yeah, I mean, what I'll, what I'll say is, every time no matter how much busy i'm at work or you know if i'm uh doing some chores at home i always have a book that's always open in kindle scribe at the back of my mind that i keep on reading and because of that i, I actually uh, read more books and right now i'm reading the book start with why um which is a decent book i would say but a book that i read before that was 100 million uh, offers i think like that is a must read book for all like uh tech techies all business oriented people like any anyone i think like anyone should read that book so of course like kindle scribe you can consume books a lot easier the other important thing that i use it most for is it's a really good note taking um uh, tool like for instance when i'm in my meetings i usually like go in the kindle i go to create notebook which is like a feature i create a new notebook and you can pretty much like write stuff here, you know, I, I don't know how clearly you can see, but like, okay, K, let me, let me write it like K-A-R-A, -A. okay, that's my name, but it kind of appears because of all the, you know, the, the changes left to right, but all in all, I'll say is like the note-taking experience is really good. It's really phenomenal. It's almost as if I'm writing on a piece of paper with a pen. 
and look at this pen the pen even has a nib and you can replace this nib like after like a month and a half of use and on the back of the pen there is an eraser and you're thinking like Karan, stop bullshitting us what's what's the, the eraser experience is way better than apple like like look at it like you know it kind of like well that sucks for the demo but yeah like you know i'm, I'm kind of like erasing it and it uh, erases so i've been using it pretty uh, quite quite a bit and i'm not trying to like sell any product but i'll tell you what the the process of like writing stuff down and i and i really like writing stuff down if i have anything important to do like i wake up in the morning and i make a list of all the things that i'm going to do any chores that my wife has given me i'm like okay i'm going to write it down so that i don't forget the other thing is all my business meetings all the meetings that i'm meeting with my customers i i write this stuff down that this is what they are saying and 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 you know you can share that um uh in a in a pdf uh, with other people you can you can send it to your gmail you know you can you can share those notes in a cloud and you can distribute it to anyone you want and you know that's pretty good but the 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 like you, you you're just gonna love it the process of taking notes like there is i don't i think i'm getting a little lost on words but the whole process of taking notes it has been phenomenally well it is a little expensive but i will say this that it's a really good product like i my recommendation is buy it my recommendation is definitely buy it because you're going to read more books and that's going to make you better. Second, you're going to take more notes and that's going to clear out your thinking process. And third, it's just a like, you know, the, the screen, it's not glossy. Like, you know, you can read, can read for like nine hours, 10 hours straight and it won't even uh, strain your eyes. And I have like pretty high number, like it's nine and 10. Like it's, it's, a, it's a miracle that I can see that clearly with, I'm wearing lenses by the way, by now, uh, right now, but, but, but you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good product buy it now i know i started with like this versus that but if i'm being honest the two products they look quite similar but they have a different use case so this is for reading books this is for taking notes and uh, it's really good at what it does and it will really make you smarter and it will make your uh, like for instance I'm, I'm just gonna give an example i was like interviewing with a bunch of different companies so you know when you start interviewing you start taking notes you start the preparation four months in advance so i've been i've been studying for four months and I've been taking all my notes on Kindle Scribe. So like that is how cool it is. And every time before an interview and I'm meeting different people at different days, I'm like, I'll, I'll quickly like go through my Kindle Scribe and I'll write some notes. So I mean, just buy it. I mean, it's a no brainer. I know it's expensive, but it is hundred percent value for money. Now Apple iPad. So I bought Apple iPad because I, I bought Kindle Scribe and I was like, Hey, I want to go to Google and I want to read like certain websites, you know, uh, and, and I can't do that with Kindle. So the experience is not that good with Kindle. So you are better off with an iPad. Second is like, I did not have a desktop uh, computer system. Like with iPad, I got a portable monitor. I got a stand, I got a, I got a small keyboard and a mouse and I'm, I'm not using it as a desktop setup environment. So like, that's pretty good with Apple iPad. The other thing is it's just a good product. Like, you know, and, and there are a lot of talks like because of the inflation and everything like getting pretty expensive, right? So the, the cost is gonna shoot up. So Apple iPads are gonna be more expensive come this September or October when new iPads come out. So my recommendation is buy the iPad, like, you know, just buy it. Like I know it's like $900, eight, 750. So this is like not the 64 gig, this is one higher up than that. I feel like 64 gig is a little small, but not to mention I did buy external portable hard drive, uh, which costed me another hundred dollars. But yeah, I mean, it, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, with iPad use case point of view, I use it to watch YouTube. Okay. I'm not going to lie, uh, to surf the web, maybe just look at some cars. Like, you know, uh, like I really like to a Prius. So I'm, I'll be just checking out the website, you know, reading emails, doing LinkedIn. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, just using it. I, I honestly use it a lot for my desktop experience and it has a new feature. The iPad OS uh, latest version has a new feature called stage manage stage manager. And because of that, like you can extend the screen from this to a external, like how many inches of external monitor you have. I have a 16 inch, so 16 screen, 16 inch screen, and it doesn't have the black, you know, the sidebars that used to come because of the stage manager, you get complete end to end display. So like, that's pretty good. It's, it's, it, it takes care of itself. So you don't have to do any configuration or anything. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good product to have my my thing is like if you already have a desktop okay and you're using it to like work and you have a laptop you probably don't need an ipad but i didn't have the desktop so i would say like because of that ipad is definitely a good product it's a good product 
But between the two, if I had the same amount of money, I just dropped my Apple, uh, Amazon pencil as well. Yeah. But I mean, you know, uh, long thing short, between the two, if I had the same amount of money, you know, of course, uh, Amazon Kindle Scribe is cheaper. It's a lot cheaper now. Uh, I think it's available for $350. But uh, if I had the same amount of money, which product would I buy? It would be Kindle Scribe, hands down. I use it less. But every time I use it, I feel like I achieved a lot more like, you know, because before that I, I would take notes randomly, maybe in Word docs and I couldn't even find them. And that would like really frustrate me. So I would say like, this is definitely the product to buy. This is also a great product, but it's, 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 it's kind of like an all around you thing. Like, you know, you have a digital cloud of your personality going everywhere you go with Apple iPad. So if you have enough money, buy both. They have different use case, good products. If you have money for one, buy Kindle Scribe you'll get in the habit of reading books. And trust me, reading books definitely makes you smarter. <laughs> I just read a book, uh, Never Split the Difference, which is about negotiation. And I use some of those strategies and like they really work. And I, I wouldn't have read that had I not had Kindle Scribe. So I feel like, you know, somehow like everything's connected and like universe is kind of like speak to me. But long thing short, buy Amazon Kindle Scribe, enough money, buy both the products. You know, you're not gonna lose. Both the products are really good.